Oh, that's a good start. It's massive. Hello there YouTube, welcome to DM Car Reviews. Today we have a 2021 Chevy Suburban on our test. I want to say huge thank you to Michael at Enterprise Car Sales of Rockville, Maryland for providing me this truck for a test drive. For any of your car needs, reach out to him. I will attach all his information down below in the description. As always, we're going to check out the exterior and interior, take it for a quick drive, do some 0-60 to 60 draggy tests, and I will share my summaries with you and my impressions. Let's get her started up. This is literally a house on wheels. I don't think I've ever driven such a big car ever before. Well, maybe I have, but this is definitely the top three of the biggest cars I've driven. If you look at this, at this massive Suburban, it's literally like a house on wheels. It's massive. This is the LT trim, which is more, more or less the most basic trim that there is for this car. And despite being the most basic trim, it still has a lot of cool features for what you get. A very nice interior. It feels quite upscale in there. Look at this thing. Ugh, scary big. It's a scary big car. And we're gonna see how it drives because, oh boy, is this gonna be an experience. All right, let's jump in the back. Well, ugh, I'm 6'2", and I have like a king-sized amount of space here. Oh, you can even recline. Wow, we got the Bose Audio. Whoa, this has more shoulder room than like the majority of cars I've sat in. And we got the cup holders, another third row. Wow, this is insane. We got a climate system for the back passengers as well our usbs pockets a lot of space everywhere and these are the vents i assume yep a handle all right let's go look at the trunk ah. we got a power lift gate and even with the third row being completely up it's still gigantic, literally, it's it's gigantic. I assume this is how you put them down. Yep. Boom, simple and easy. And then I guess, what, if you wanna put them all back up, back up again, you just do that. Boom, just like that. Oh boy. This is quite a big car. Oh boy. And then this is your, middle seat belt okay well for today's test we don't need a third row since i'm the only one driving this so we will put it down and look at how simple and easy it is look at that cargo space and then if we fold the second row you can put like a sofa in here i don't know like a sofa a flat screen tv and i mean it's it's huge All right, let's open the, the hood and check out that engine. Okay. So we have a good old V8 in here. 5.3 liter, got all the information right there.
boom. Okay, let's get to the best part. That's dr the driving part. Ugh. Ooh. So we have our standard suit of features here, the dual climate, the touchscreen, infotainment, and this is actually a nice screen here. Maps Plus. This actually reminds me of Cadillac's infotainment. Well, no wonder it's it's a shared system. Additional terms. Update, I mean, you gotta update this, dismiss. I'm not gonna update this. We got our climate system here where we can adjust the needed parameters and do all our changes. We got Spotify, the dual climate. And this, I feel like is perfectly made to put your phone right here like this. Look at how perfectly it goes and fits in here. Uh, cha -cha -cha. We got a lot of cubbies and storage here. Some more storage here. All the materials are soft touch, really nice. They feel great to me, high quality. We have our automatic headlights, our different modes, you know, for all wheel drive, hill assist, I guess this is. The heated seats, rear climate is separate. And, you know, everything here is nice, lovely. Feels good to me. Well, let's get to the best part. Let's do our wiper wash and let's begin the test. Okay. Got a pleasant blinker sound. This engine has some kind of unique sound to it. It's like a little whine, but it sounds super cool. The mirrors look good. The visibility out back is actually fairly decent. Like I can see around the vehicle pretty well. It's not too bad. I do wonder if this has the blind spot system, but that we will find out fairly shortly. Now the ride is great. It's smooth, refined, sort of reminds me of these U-Haul trucks. This actually rides fairly similar to the um, Chevrolet Express that I got to test like half a year ago. It is quiet in here, very refined. And what is this? Oh, that's the camera. Cool. Whew. The seating position is super high here. It's like you sit above everybody. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to be taking this car into any heavy turns because that's how you flip. <laughs> This is a very distinct sound with that little whistle and that whine. You do feel really relaxed driving this. It's like it isolates you from the rest of the world. Now you totally do feel you're driving a big truck because even the smallest turn 
you already feel a good amount of lean right here. Like I can just feel it lean to the side. AC blows ice cold, good climate system. We have this little cubby. If anybody knows what this is for, let me know in the comments below. All right. I do wonder what we'll get on our zero to 60 test on this truck. Eight seconds, seven seconds, eight and a half. If you want to take a guess, Put it in the comments before you get to the actual draggy test. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 7.4. I'll say 7.4 seconds. See how close I am. Many people buy these trucks for doing Ubers and lifts, like, you know, the Uber Black or whatever it's called. Or if you have a gigantic family and you need to haul, haul everyone around. You know, I personally would not buy a car like this for just myself. I mean, at least if you're buying it for yourself, get the Tahoe. Because I don't know why you need the Suburban. It's huge. Imagine having to park this thing everywhere. Like, oh, geez. Parking this thing is probably a challenge. Ooh. I'm not used to driving cars this big. The pickup is good. You know, it gets up and going, it gets up and goes. Don't expect any crazy acceleration levels from this from this truck, but it hustles. It's good. This is a huge, huge truck. Let's go. The close ratios of the transmission do help it stay in the power band and get it up to speed effectively. actually moves well I gotta say for this size and this engine it, it it hustles like it can get up and go and I do love how instant the response of the throttle is like you give it gas and you're going yeah this is good I wonder what this would feel like with the bigger engine. I think it's what the 6.2 liter that the Escalade has. I wonder how that would feel in this size of a truck.
like how floaty this car is. Like, woo, woo. <laughs> it feels cool. I'm gonna have to say that. I definitely like the feel of it. All right, so reset the draggy. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, really good. Let's see the times. So we did zero to 16, 7.49 seconds. 7.49, right as I said it would be, 7.4. And then we did the 1 8th mile at 10 seconds at 72 miles an hour. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's give this one more shot maybe. See what we can do. Maybe we can improve it a bit. Who knows. Maybe we can do even better. Because um, this was definitely really good. All right, checking the U-turn radius. All right, gas, let's go. Starts to pull after 4,000. That's like where its best pull is. But this transmission is really the best part of this powertrain right here, like this whole build. It has really good close ratios, which allow you to get to speed very effectively. The speedometer is accurate, so at 80 it shows 78, only uh, two miles per hour off, not bad. Well, let's try the zero to 60 one more time, see if that changes things up for us a bit. The, the question will be, will be, will I be able to do that U-turn right now? Because this is a huge, huge truck. As I've already mentioned, I don't know if we'll be able to do the U-turn right now with this kind of, you know, with this kind of size. But let's give it a try nevertheless, see what happens. No way. No way it actually made that. No way it actually made that U-turn. That is impressive. That is impressive. Because <laughs> this car is like longer than your standard car by twice. All right. We reset the draggy. Three, two, one. Let's go. Seven point six. And we did again 10.07 at 70.65. So we did a little bit worse this time, but 7.4, 7.6 is probably the best that we will get. Um, yeah, so as far as my impressions, I think this is a nice truck. It rides nice, actually handles fairly well for its size. I do like the ride, hasn't made me car sick yet. The interior quality is excellent for what it is. And the performance is very good, you know, for a big, big truck like this. I liked it. I definitely recommend it. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching today. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And until next time.